I absolutely love summer. It's all play and no work, right? So let's look at some fragrances that will accompany us this year through all the fun and the heat of the summer. By the time summer comes around, I usually am ready to switch up my fragrances to sort of a fresher feel to kind of offset the stickiness of the heat of the summer. I like notes like citrus, some aquatic notes, maybe some watery notes, and you know, fruits like melon or tangy notes like yuzu. I mean, doesn't that sound much better for the summer? All right, let's get started with a fragrance from Bulgari. Some of you will think that he's going to pick this one right here, Glacial Essence from 2020. The name would imply glacial essence, you know, mountains, mountaintop, cold, something fresh and icy. But on the contrary, this one is actually not what I thought when I bought it. To my surprise, it is actually much heavier than expected because it has some woodiness in it and some musk. It's actually quite, quite deeper. My choice for the summer is a 2019 Bulgari and it is going to be Wood Neroli. Now this one right here is a perfect example why you can't just go out and buy a fragrance because of the name. Because Wood Neroli would assume that this one right here is going to be a deeper woody fragrance with some Neroli uh, scattered throughout. It actually is a beautiful uplifting fragrance with a floral Neroli and some Cipriol oil in it. I mean, you can spray this one right here and immediately feel sort of the freshness of summer, like kind of tap you on the shoulder. It's a beautiful fragrance. Now this one will get deeper as it dries down just a little bit, but the musk that's listed on this one right here is going to be um, white musk, and the white musk is actually going to keep it a little bit more on the floral side, so it won't get too deep. A perfect alternative for this one, if, you want, if you're a little bit more on the price conscious side, is one from Banana Republic, and this one is called Neroli Woods. Yeah, so this is Wood Neroli and Neroli Woods. You can find this one often at the, you know, resellers and you know, like TJ Maxx and TK Maxx and so on and so forth for a really good price, even though they have been going up in price because of their popularity. Another great fragrance that sort of packs a punch for summer is one from John Varvatos. Now people talk about this one quite a bit and it's for good reason. It's this one right here. It is Artisan Pure from 2017. This is a summer fragrance with a punch of fruits like lemon, orange, and clementine. Although there isn't a note of Neroli listed in this one, people say it reminds them of Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford, which is not a bad thing considering you can find this one online for around 40 bucks for 125 mil, which is not a bad deal and it will keep you fresh. What I found though on this one is that you do have to respray it after a little while. It's probably good for about four or five hours, but if you like that super opening, that bright freshness, you're gonna have to respray it after a little while, especially if you're out in the high heat. Lemon, bergamot, orange notes are all great for the summer, at least in my opinion. However, there is another note called yuzu, and yuzu is an Asian sort of tangy fruit with a scent profile lot, much like a grapefruit with overtones of a little bit of a mandarin right on top of it. It's a perfect summer note. A popular fragrance is Izimiyake Lodice Perum from 1994. If you want a fragrance that is almost 20 years old and is still popular today and also will be popular for the next 20 years, then this one is one to get. This timeless freshness was created by Jacques Cavalier and I swear, you can still wear this one today. It smells so good and it always refreshes you when you spray it in the summertime. In the same nostril as this one right here from Izemiyake is a fragrance from Karl Lagerfeld and it is called Bois de Yuzu. This one came out in 2018 and it has definitely sort of the tangy yuzu note in this one. However, it is just a little bit more mossy and not quite as bright as the Izemiyake. Wadi Yuzu is toned down with some nutmeg and there's a little bit of a soft leather and woody overtones of like papyrus at the very base. It isn't as powerful as Lotus Eperum, but it's a worthy alternative if you're looking for something that's, that's like that, but with a little bit of a twist on it. Or if you're looking for another Yuzu fragrance. Wadi Yuzu from Karl Lagerfeld is a great alternative and I love wearing this one for the summer. But I just realized as I'm talking about this right here, that I have another Izemiyake for you and it's going to be perfect for this summer. And it is going to be a new one 
from Ize Miyake 2023, and it is called Lodize Porum, and it is called Vetiver. Now, oddly enough, it doesn't say Vetiver on the front anywhere, so you gotta make sure that you get this one if you buy it from the store. It only says Vetiver, you can't see that, but it only says Vetiver on the bottom here. Now, this is an EDT concentration, and the notes listed in this one are going to be some clary sage, some ginger, there's a little bit of uh, watery notes in here. Now, for me, this one is a bit of a strange one, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but let me explain. In 2020, Dior launched a new men's fragrance, a new Dior Homme, and we all remember it, you know, they were, they omitted the iris, which was this one right here, remember? Now, this new men's fragrance has notes like Elemi, Cashmere Wood, there's some Haitian Vetiver and some ISO, ISOE Super or ISO Super, whatever you want to call it to make you happy. Uh, I say ISOE Super because that's how I read it, but it's a big change from the original. Now, it took me a bit, but I like it now. Then in 2021, they launched a sport version which added some aldehydes to the fragrance. They removed the patchouli among other notes and you know it's a fresher feeling while still retaining the 2020 sort of scent profile, right? Nicely done and this one is sort of perfect for summer. So here's the strange part. When I wear the Izemiyake Vetiver from 2023, I constantly get reminded while I'm wearing it of the Diorum 2020 and the Diorum 2021 Sport. Even though when you look at the note comparisons, at least online, they are completely different. So I do have to mention that's only in the air. If I smell the bottles, they don't smell anything alike. I mean, that's for sure. But in the air, as I'm wearing it all day, I constantly get reminded of these two fragrances when I wear the Vetiver. They don't smell anything alike but in the air, they sure enough do. So where does that leave us? That's a really good question. I personally recommend on these three that you go out and maybe perhaps go to a store and get your nose on it, you know? Maybe even give it a spray on your skin and see which one sort of wears best for you on your skin. Because to me, they are sort of similar in the air and you don't wanna end up spending your money and ending up with you know three similar scent profiles because it is quite unique and I think you only need one of them for that scent profile. If you don't care and you don't say, oh, I don't mind if I have you know similar scent profiles, I really love this one, you know, here's what I do. I wear the original 2020 when it's fall or, sp or spring, when it's kind of cooler outside. I wear Dior Sport in the summer, and if I want a touch of Clary Sage, then I go with the Izemiyake for summer. And then if you're completely like, oh my God, my head's just about to blow off, this is way too much for me, then here's what you can do. Just go out and get yourself the cologne from 2022. This is a beautiful fragrance. You bypass the other three, just get this one. Simply beautiful, it's a gorgeous summer scent and it only has three notes. It has Calabrian bergamot, it has some grapefruit blossom and some white floral musk. This is a perfect fragrance, easy to wear. It's luxurious for the summer. Mm, and it has a wonderful dry down. Think ice cold lemon water in the style of Dior. If you don't want to do anything else, get this one and you'll smell fabulous for the summer. Love this one. And if you like the sort of lighter, fresher feelings, like this one, I have one from Hermes. It's a 2010 and instead of lemonade or sweet lemonade in the style of Dior, this one's going to be a spicy tea fragrance and it is Voyage from Hermes. This is a 2010 fragrance, beautiful spicy tea fragrance, and it has the note of cardamom mixed with it. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Now, this one is not going to last too long. It's very light. It's, um, you know, very delicate. It's perfect for those like super hot days when you're outside. But if you want a little bit more longevity, then you can go with the Voyage from 2012. And this is the uh, perfume version. And it adds a little bit of amber and a slight touch of rose. 
also very beautiful. So this one is very light, delicate for hot summer days. And if you want a little bit more longevity, you can go with the perfume version right here. You know, they both have the same bottle. One's black and one's light. And the, let me see, there you go. And you can put them on your shelf like that. Not bad at all from Hermes. 2010 and 2012. Two great summer fragrance. In my opinion, these are underrated. They're awesome for when it's really hot outside. And of course, I have to put the next one in here because it's one of my all-time favorites to wear in the summertime. And it is going to be a Chanel. It is Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This one right here. Now, lots of people have talked about this one, and so I won't spend too much time on it. It's lemon bergamot, some soft woody sandalwood, some vetiver, and it's all sort of surrounded by vanilla. This is a gorgeous summer scent in the style of Chanel. Now, you will have to buy this one, unfortunately, at the Chanel store. You can't really get it anywhere else. You know, you can go online and get it. It's fine. And, you know, it's a hundred and something bucks, 120, 125 bucks or something like that. But it is absolutely worth it. It's one of my favorite things, my favorite fragrances to wear in the summer. You know, that whole Allure line is really good. This one is the one when it's hot outside, this is the one to get. Even though you got to buy it online and it's a little bit more effort. But in my opinion it's worth the effort. But you know what else is worth the effort? <laughs> yep, you guessed it. Hitting the like button and subscribing. Of course, only if you're getting anything out of this at all, any value. If not, please let me know why you think so in the comments. And then subscribe and like anyway. Deal? At the beginning, I'm always thinking I'm only gonna do 10 fragrances, but then there are so many good ones and I always end up with more. What can I say? I absolutely have zero self-control when it comes to fragrances. All right, let's do a couple more for summer if you're up for it. Now we already had an Hermes fragrance a little bit earlier. So the next one is also going to be an Hermes and it is going to be a perfect combo with a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. This is the 2022 Eau Chivre from Terre de Hermes. And this one is Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue Forever from 2021. In the summertime, you can switch between these two. You can switch between the Citron that's in the Eau Chivre or the Tart Grapefruit in Light Blue Forever. Both of these will absolutely perk you up in the summer. I love wearing these and you can pretty much wear them at any point, at any time. Two great fragrances for summer. Definitely will perk you up once you spray these. You can actually put these in a, like a cold environment, like a refrigerator, and when you spray it, it'll freshen you up. Of course, sour is nice in the heat. We'll do one more and then we'll call it quits. I'll keep you long enough. Sour is nice in the heat. However, you know, I also think that for the summer, I love the note of fig. Now, Aqua de Parma has one. This one will round out this list pretty good. And it's called Fico di Almafi. It's a 2006 fragrance. It's a bit older, but it is a fantastic summer scent. Costs you a little bit more. You can buy it at retailers or you can, you know, of course, buy it online, which saves you a bit of money. And this one right here, you will have the citron, the grapefruit, combined with lemon and bergamot. Pretty much all the summer staples will be in this one. The citruses are sweetened with a beautiful note of fig that's all surrounded by jasmine. I mean, this is a beautiful, elegant summer fragrance and it'll have you smelling awesome for the summer. And as a little extra tip, if you don't wanna fork out the money for this one, if you look, you can find Noble Fig from Ferrari. It's also a fig note, and it's very much along the similar line if you want a fig note for summer. I hope you had fun. If you did, hit the like and subscribe to Scent Trail. After all, our journey begins with but one scent. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice, and I will talk to you soon.